Hi everybody, Mrs. Lamorand again. Today, for our weekly reading skill, we're going to be talking about main idea. When we find the main idea of a selection that we're reading, we take all the information that we've read and we come up with a sentence, just one sentence, that gives us what the article or the story is mostly about. <clears throat> so today we're going to read this article about accidental snacks. It's two-sided and we're going to read this. I'll read it to you. You can follow along and then we're going to fill in a graphic organizer. We're going to find our main idea and we're going to find three examples or supporting details for this main idea. All right. So um, let's read this first. Follow along with me. All right. I am. It says, imagine that you are in the kitchen cooking a snack. Then you make a mistake. Maybe you cook the food too long. Maybe you use the wrong ingredients. Should you throw away your food? Not before you taste it. You may have invented a new snack. After all, some of America's favorite snacks were made by accident. Take the chocolate chip cookie, for example. It was invented in the early 1930s by Ruth Wakefield. She was making cookies to sell at her inn, but she ran out of one ingredient, baking chocolate. She decided to use a chocolate candy bar instead. She broke the bar into small chips. She thought the chips would melt, but they did not. Her guests loved the cookies. Soon, many people were baking chocolate chip cookies. A company called Nestle started selling chocolate chips so cooks would not need to break up candy bars. They also put the recipe on their packages. Today, this cookie is one of America's favorite snacks. Massachusetts even made it their official state cookie. Another accidental snack was created in 1905 by an 11-year-old boy. His name was Frank Epperson. One day, he made a sweet drink for himself. He stirred it with a stick, but then he set it down outside and forgot about it. By morning, his drink was frozen with the stick still in it. So before I flip it over, can you guess what snack he created? Mm, the stick was still in it. Frank Epperson called his new treat an epistle. Later, he changed the name to Popsicle. The ice pops were a big hit with children. Now, over two billion are sold every year. Another favorite snack, the potato chip, was also invented by accident. Americans have eaten fried potatoes since the 1700s, but the potatoes were not thin, crisp chips. They were thick slices. People ate them with a fork. That all changed in 1853. It happened at a restaurant in the state of New York. The restaurant's cook was named George Crum. Crum was a good cook, but he had a quick temper. One evening, a guest did not like his fried potatoes. He said they were too thick. He sent them back to the kitchen. Crum was not happy. He decided to cut the potato slices paper thin. Then he fried them to a crisp. He put salt all over them and set them out to the guest. Crum thought the guest would be angry. To his surprise, the man loved the chips. Other guests asked for them too. A new snack was born. Some people think George Crum did not invent potato chips. They say his sister or his wife invented them. We may never know for sure. But we do know that Crum started his own restaurant a few years later. He served the chips to his guest. Soon, other restaurants were serving chips too. Today, Crum's accidental invention is one of the best-selling snacks in America. All right, so we've read about the accidental snacks. All right. When we're trying to find main idea, we usually go back and we can read our first part. We can also look for a clue in our last part and we look at details. So I'm going to start with, imagine that you're in the kitchen cooking a snack, then you make a mistake. Maybe you cook the food too long. Maybe you use the wrong ingredients. Should you throw away your food? 
not before you taste it, you may have invented a new snack. After all, some of America's favorite snacks were made by accident. All right. Well, that gives us a good idea. So now let's look at our graphic organizer. I'm going to be switching back and forth between these. So let's look at our graphic organizer. I may not know exactly what my main idea is, but I, can, I should be able to go through and find three examples of what I'm wanting to talk about or supporting details. All right. Our article we read talked about three snacks. All right. So let's go back and look. Okay, so take the chocolate chip cookie for example. It was invented in 1930s by Ruth Wakefield. All right, so let's make, um, let's talk about Ruth Wakefield. That's the first snack we talked about. So I'm going to say Ruth Wakefield. Invented. the chocolate chip cookie by accident all because she was out of baking chocolate so some examples of this we know she ran out of baking chocolate If you don't know, baking chocolate and the chocolate you eat are really two different things. They're both chocolate, but baking chocolate is designed to melt when it's cooked. When it's heated up, it melts, it cooks, or you use a cocoa powder for baking chocolate. But in a candy bar that we eat, they're not made to melt as quickly. They're, they're uh, designed and created to not melt as fast. So there is a bit of a difference. So because she ran out of baking chocolate, do you remember what she did? What'd she use? Mm -hmm. So she used a candy bar. It didn't melt. People loved it. People loved it. And then, um, remember a company? Do you remember the name of the company? We still use their chocolates. Um, a company called Nestle started selling they started selling chocolate chips. All right, so there's one example that they talked about in here. Let's see if we can find the second food they talked about. Do you remember what it was? If I go down here, it says another accidental snack was created in 1905 by an 11-year-old boy. His name was Frank Epperson. One day he made a sweet drink for himself, stirred it with a stick, sat it outside and forgot about it. By morning, his drink was frozen. The stick was still in it. Frank Epperson called this new treat an epistle. He later changed the name to Popsicle. The ice pops were a big hit with children. Now over two billion are sold every year. So our second snack that we talked about was Frank Epperson inventing the Popsicle. So Frank Epperson He invented the popsicle by accident. And we could go on here and we could list all the details about him making a sugary drink or a sweet drink with a popsicle stick, left it outside so it frozen, so the popsicle was invented. But I want to move on a little bit so we can um, get so we can finish up our lesson. All right, so our third example that they talked about was another favorite snack 
the potato chip was also invented by accident. Americans have eaten fried potatoes since the 1700s. Okay, um, but it, the restaurant's cook was George Crumb. Crumb was a good cook, but he had a quick temper. One evening, a guest did not like his fried potatoes. He said they were too thick. He sent them back to the kitchen. Crumb was not happy. He decided to cut the potato slices paper thin. Then he fried them to a crisp and put salt over them and sent them out to the guest. Crumb thought the guest would be angry. To his surprise, the man loved the chips. And other people began to ask for them too. So our third example is that George... Crumb invented the potato chip by accident. So these are the three main ideas that this article talked about. Ruth Wakefield invented the chocolate chip cookie by accident. Frank Epperson invented the popsicle by accident. George Crumb invented the potato chip by accident. Oh, I spelled invented wrong. My students would have been going, Mrs. Lamoran, you spelled a word wrong. What in all three of these, they all have something in common. And what is that thing that they have in common? They all say what? By accident, by accident, by accident. All right, so let's see if we can find us a sentence that talks about our main idea. Imagine that you're in the kitchen cooking a snack, then you make a mistake. Maybe you cook the food too long. Maybe you use the wrong ingredients. Should you throw that food away? Not before you taste it. You may have invented a new snack. After all, some, Amer some of America's favorite snacks were made by accident. Look right here, by accident. So, what's the main idea of what we read? It's that sentence right there, right at the end of our first paragraph. Some of America's favorite snacks were invented by accident. All right, so when we are trying to find the main idea, we need to find that sentence that tells us about the whole thing. Well, our whole article was about some of America's favorite snacks were invented by accident. Also, if you're in Mrs. Lamoran's reading classes, I've taught you that a lot of times our main idea sentence can be in our first paragraph or our main idea sentence might be in our last paragraph. So those are places you can look to if you're having a hard time finding the main idea. All right, so don't forget, read carefully when you find your main idea. You have to have evidence to support your main idea like I did with our three examples and you're quickly on your way to finding main idea. Talk to you guys later.